good evening, family. I am back with another episode. Today is Saturday, May 18th, 2024. I was just out here with my son and his friends at his place. Let me see. All right. Hold on, y'all. I'll get it. Hold on. That's going to have to do. That's it. So thank y'all for tuning in for another episode. This will be my final episode of the day. And it's an email topic from Big Ward at MyYahoo.com. It was a beautiful day today. I have to say that just, that just, just hit me in my head. Man, it was, it was a beautiful day. So, this was an email topic. Big Ward at MyYahoo.com. I'm waiting for my son to uh, get changed and dried off or whatever. He's going to leave and go with me. Hang out for the rest of the night. So, and from a young man, and it goes a little something like this. Most young people have been warned about the snakes in the grass as we grind and work our way to the top to earn what we want out of this life. But nobody warns us about the hyenas once we get there and accomplish what we want. Lions and hyenas have never liked each other. Well, really, in the jungle, nobody likes each other. Each group only deals with its own group, and sometimes they turn on each other. So, but I get what you're saying. The lion hunts the meal, runs it down, and kill it, but before he eats it, he has to fight off the pack of hyenas that come to steal a lion's hard-earned meal, laughing at the lion as the pack drags it away. What's your view on people that have the hyena mentality, and how should young people who have survived the snakes in the grass deal with the hyenas once we reach early success. Not just early success, any success. The hyenas, which are, in human terms, us as people. When you're at the bottom, when you don't have anything, when you're broke, you don't really have to worry about people coming after you. You don't have to worry about the hyenas. You don't have nothing to eat, right? But we're going to talk about men. And I would say it's, you, it's, most, it's mostly women, but it ain't going to be just women only. But when you're on your way up to the top, right, when you when you don't put in all that work, grinding or whatever, you're going to notice, damn, Ain't nobody around me. I'm by myself. Ain't nobody helping me. You might have, you know, a little help here and there. Your parents or somebody might help you. You might be blessed or fortunate enough to run across a, a, a true loyal friend in your lifetime that'll help you along the way, encourage you, and motivate you. But most likely, most of the time, they might not have nothing to give you either. So especially if you're coming from the bottom, most of the people around you is in the same predicament you're in. They don't have nothing to give you. They can't offer you any help. But some of them will offer you encouragement and motivation and tell you you can do it, man. And they see you messing up, they might guide you in the right direction. Hey, man, don't do that, man. You got a chance to get up out of here. Because I remember when I was on the block, I had a couple of OG when I was young. Tell me, hey, man, you ain't got to be out here, bro. You, you different. You smarter than the rest of us. You shouldn't be out here. You ain't got no business being out here with us. I had some OG tell me that I ain't listen, but they, they told me. So... You might have some people along the way that, you know, do that for you, what have you. But overall, when you're on that way up, climbing, and you're working hard, when you came from nothing, you ain't going to have nobody with you. You're going to be alone, most likely. Other than parents or maybe a few family members. Oh, but hold on a minute. Because if you keep your head to the ground, you keep grinding, you keep pushing, never giving up, applying yourself, discipline and focus, you're guaranteed to be successful. See, anybody listen to me. 
You do those things, you are guaranteed to be successful. Perseverance. So, the race is not given to the swift, but to the one who endures to the end. Taller than hell. So, over when you get to that top, when you eat now, when you got plenty of food, you done, you done made your kill. You done went kill the gazelle. You done went kill the buffalo. You got three, four buffaloes you done kill, whatever. You, you, you finna eat good. You finna engorge yourself because you went out there and risked your life. Spent your time. Dedicated yourself to the hunt. And now you finally made a kill. You're successful. You're ready to eat. You got a refrigerator full of food. Your cup running over. Now you're going to find yourself with people that want to be your friend. Want to get to know you. Congratulating you. Willing to do anything for you now. See, something about when you're broke, you can't get no help. Rich man get all the help he want. I ain't talking about from other rich folk, poor folk. Poor people will help a rich man quicker than they help somebody else that's poor like them, their own kind, their own family. Won't do nothing for them. Somebody rich, they'll help them, not out of the kind of their heart either. You need to know that. So now that you've made it to the top, you're successful, and you're living the life you want to live. Here come the friends and the women that love you. That, that, that will act like they always loved you. Friends, high school classmates, long lost cousins, what have you, they're coming. They see you to made a kill. Here come the hyenas, the friends, family members, women, they coming, and not just women. Men be the worst. Men kiss your ass when you're successful more than women do. Yes, I've been there, I know. Men will run up under another successful man, kiss his ass, ride his, as they say, dick riding. Men are worse than women when it come to that. So it ain't gonna be the women that you're gonna have to watch out for the hardest or the most. It's going to be them dudes. It's going to be the, the, the men. Going to kiss your ass the most. Make you swell. They're going to swell up and down. They've been there for you all along. They've been your homeboy all along. They've been down with you from day one. They're going to swell it day one like you don't remember being by yourself on your way to the top. Like you, don't, like you forgot that. But they're going to force their way up under you. You're going to have to pretty much tell them, hey, man, get the F away from around me. I've had to do that. Get your ass away from around me. I, 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 do, I do these jokers like that. I got some people that are vowed for me. Say, man, I, I, don't play, I don't play nice. I don't play nice. I let you know I don't trust you. I don't like you. I don't want you around me. I'm not going to pretend that I say, to, to, to act a certain way, hurt myself to keep from hurting your feelings. Damn your feelings. I'm going to let you know. Get your ass away from around me. you fake. I know what I had and who I had when I ain't had nothing. I ain't going to ever forget that. So now that I'm on my way on the, on the up route, I ain't there yet, but I'm just saying, I'm doing better than what I was. I know who was there with me. God and Miss Nancy before she died. That was it. And John. John know who he is. And I've had a few other people along the way here now that God sent in my path to help direct me. But overall, wasn't nobody there. Ain't nobody gonna be there for you. So when you'd have made it to the top, them folk waiting at the finish line, the hyenas, they see you had a successful hunt, now they're trying to come eat off your plate. Which they ain't help you get none of. But they will, they will pretend, they will try to guilt you into doing for them. To what, they'll guilt you as in, oh, since you done made a little money, you're like, you don't know nobody. You can always fall back down. Don't forget where you come from. You know, that type of crap. 
they're gonna hit you with that when you make it to the top. And you ain't fucking with them. You keeping that same energy that they kept, that you they had when you ain't had nothing. This how you deal with the hyenas when you get to the top. You don't deal with them. And you do as the lion do when the hyenas come to try to take their they, they food. The lion tear that ass. See, what you left out is the lions usually whoop the hyena. Unless it's 20 hyenas to one lion. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, but overall, the lion gonna handle the business. You gonna handle the business. You gonna see the hyenas coming. How you gonna recognize them? Because pretty much anybody that these new these new friends, like Drake say, no new friends, no new friends. If they wasn't there with you, if they didn't help you hunt, don't let them help you eat. I don't care who it is, family, friends, it don't matter. If they didn't help you hunt, and what I mean by hunt, that don't mean they had to get out there and work with you. Just people like I got family members that didn't help me do the work. But they encouraged me, motivated me. My sister, my cousin Trina, I tell y'all about all the time. I got people that motivated me to keep going. I got my family, my whole family. Didn't matter if I have nothing. My family always, I got the type of family, they're going to love you, they don't care what you got. That's my experience with my family. I don't know nobody else's experience being with my family. My experience with my family is no matter what I got, they always treated me like big war. They, Treat me by my real, you know. But they always treated me like I was rich when they ain't had nothing. So I'll never forget that when I become rich. But other than that, so if they weren't able to give me money, cause we, we, we all come up, you know, with nothing and had to make a way for ourselves. So my family wasn't able to, here goes some money, uh, Big Ward, to help you, here goes some money, some money, cause we, they ain't have it. But love and support, I always got. So that's another way somebody can help you hunt. My family always loved and supported me. Always showed me love. Always, like it, it didn't matter if I was broke or not. Now my dad and my mom—that's a different story. But you know, I'm talking about my other family. I ain't talking about my dad and my mom. So you know, I'm, I, I you know I dealt with that. But that's another that's another topic. But but the rest of my family, all of them, always was kind, showed me love. So them people, they can come around when you make it to the top. But I'm talking about them jokers. You know who I'm talking about. We're like, who are these folk? It's gonna be plenty of them. Who are these folk? When I was on back in the day in the street, street hustling, there were people around me, cause I grew up in high, when I came through high school, ain't had nothing, whatever, all them years. Right? I wasn't known like that, you know what I'm saying? I, who, nobody know me like that. I was a nerd. I was a bookworm, honor roll student. Nobody know me, I wasn't cool, I wasn't popular. But when I got out there in the streets, I ex excelled at it because it's still about smart. Even in the streets, the dumb dudes don't make no money. The smart dudes make the money in the street. They smart, but they were stupid to get out there, but they, it, it still, you gotta be smart to make it up in that game. Everybody don't make it to the side. There's some broke D-boys out here. The dumb one. The D-boy that's moving, moving them things, they, be, they, they usually be the smart guy that could have been anything in the world that they wanted to be, and they end up being D-boys, like me. I could have been anything. Engineer, doctor, lawyer, I had the intelligence to do that. I was lazy. You and the D-boys are talented, gifted, smart, bright people, just lazy. That was me. Could have been anything, but lazy. That held me back, being lazy. And it took life. To whoop me up out of that. Well, I'm, I ain't lazy no more. So when I was looking, you know, as I got out there hustling and getting this money up, like everybody love Big Ward now. Everybody been know me since high school now. Why went to Murphy with you? What up, Big Ward? We took chemistry together. We took this together in high school. Like you ain't never speak to me though. The women. Didn't you go to Murphy? Yeah. And I'm like, didn't you always pass by me when, like, like I didn't exist? I didn't want to say that just without thinking to myself. But boy, I enjoyed it, you know, I enjoyed it. I knew it was fake. A lot of y'all, I'm just telling y'all, they coming 
All I'm telling you how to deal with it is to know they fake. Long as you don't buy into the crap, long as you don't buy into the hype to believe that these people really love you, cause they coming. You finna have some, if you successful, you finna have some new friends. Unless you like me, able to tell them to get the hell away from around you. But if you young and just tasting success, cause when I was young and just coming up, I let them around me cause I never had that much love, people showing me love like that. So I ate it up. I knew it was fake, but I, I still allowed them to do it. I still allowed, allowed them to wash the car. I still took the love and then the sloppy toppy from the women. You know, I, I still accepted all that, even though I knew it was fake. So all I'm doing is letting y'all know that when you when it comes, just know it's fake. If you allow them around you, just know they fake and they looking for ways to get what I, whatever you got. Whatever you got, they trying to find ways to get it. That's why they around you. If you ain't have nothing, they won't be around you. So you got something, here they come. They ain't coming for just to be there. They expecting something. For the ass kissing, they finna lay down on you, cause they finna kiss some ass. Spend it. Hold on, y'all. My bad, y'all. I'm outside in the wind. An old gust of wind came through here. But anyway, I'm finna wrap it up anyway. But they gonna kiss, it's gonna be some dudes. The dude gonna kiss your ass more than the women are. Just be, be ready for that. But it's all fake. It's all in the lose. Them people don't care nothing about you. They coming. It's up to you whether you allow them in your circle or not. My advice to you, don't let them in. Don't even get it started. Because a lot of them ain't going to want to leave without something. One way or the other. They, gonna, they ain't leaving without something. They, gonna leave, they, they coming for what they came for, and they ain't going to leave without it. Some of them. They will do some things to you to get what they came for. If you don't give it to them, if you don't give it to them voluntarily, they'll take it. That's how you deal with the hyenas when you make it to the top. As long as you acknowledge and recognize them as a hyena, you know how to deal with them. The lion knows the hyena when he sees them. So the lion, a lot of times the hyena be surrounded around by the lion, the lion don't even worry about it. He see them. He know they are, he know they came to do. And he ready to take care of it however he got to take care of it. As long as you acknowledge and recognize that they are hyenas, you'll know how to handle them. The, the lion don't mistake the hyena for other lions. That's how you're able to deal with them. He knows that they are hyenas. So you're going to know when these people come around you, don't mistake them because they're going to they try to disguise themselves as lions. They're going to try to disguise themselves as your friend, somebody who's always down for you, somebody who always believed in you, like you stupid enough to believe it. Don't you fall for that. Re recognize they are hyenas. And now you can act accordingly. You'll know how to deal with them. You'll know how to react when they get a little too close. The lion don't react to the hyenas when they're over there in the, in the, in the per perimeter. The lion don't react until they get too close. So that's my advice to you, how to deal with the hyenas. That's coming for your food. They're coming. Don't let them get too close, and you're going to be all right. Get it? Got it? Good. Bye.